Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Caleb and I want to get you ready for your next gig using MA3 on PC if you're using a four port node or any MA3 node. Um, I want to show you how to turn a light on. It was a little harder than I thought, way harder than the MA2 nodes. So hit subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. Let's get into the video. So here is the node. Huge thank you to Mike Montag at MC Productions for mailing this to me to let me use for this video. Um, when I got the node, it looked like this. So if you see these yellow boxes that look like Grandma 2, it means it's in Grandma 2 mode. You're gonna need to hold this button, keep holding it, keep holding it, just past the red sign, this one, and then you release it, and then tap it again. Now that your node's in MA3 mode, check the black and white number to the right to make sure the version number here matches the version number you're using in MA3 on PC. Now just a note, this video was recorded after I updated this node to this version number, so don't get confused in the next bit when I show you how to update the node and you see a previous version appear. When you get to the MA Lighting website, go to Grandma 3 and find the Grandma 3 software package. This is the same download that's used for Grandma 3 consoles. Download that and make sure you have a flash drive that's one gigabyte or greater. Go ahead and click on this PC, right click, go to manage, and then find that flash drive, hit format, and you're going to format it as FAT32. Go ahead and hit OK, but make sure you have everything backed up from that flash drive first. Then find the download and extract all of its contents to that flash drive. This should take a minute. Once you're done, you should have these two folders and that icon. Now we're going to power off our MA, plug in the USB, power back on the MA, and plug in our Ethernet. Just a note that you do not need a network switch or crossover cable if you're just going from your network card to your node. To change your computer's IP address, go to Control Panel, Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center, Change Adapter Settings, right-click on Ethernet, go to Properties, IPv4, Properties, and there is your IP address. We do have to change the IP address of the node. Notice I have CON1 set to 2 and IP2 set to 10 from a previous um, configuration. We're going to change this one by clicking the encoder and then typing in ten. It's not the most friendly way to enter numbers in, that's for sure. Okay, so con one is set to 10.03. Apply changes. Con one takes the new IP address. Once you get into MA3 again, go ahead and change your IP address of Grand MA to your Ethernet card, and it should pick up your network node automatically. If it doesn't, just go out of network settings and back into network settings and it should show up. Now you do still need to add your node. That is it just showing up. So click on the down arrow, click on that box, and hit invite station. Now usually this worked, but oddly it didn't work this time around. So I saved, shut down GranMA, turned it back on, and this was the result. Network node lit up green and all was good. So let's turn a light on. Go ahead and go into settings and patch. 
and you're going to hit add or insert new fixture. You can use your grandma three library or your grandma two library or any GT GDTF files you have. I have to get used to saying that still. Patch in your light and then I'm gonna show you how to turn it on. Your fixture is selected by typing your fixture numbers. In this case, fixture one. Grab this dimmer wheel and you actually have to spin your cursor around that wheel. That is how you turn a light on and off. Thank you everybody for watching. Hope this video helped with whatever project you're working on. If you want to see more content like this, hit subscribe and I hope to see you on a gig sometime. Take care everybody.